Hello, my name is Martin Harmon. I'm a British artist based in the UK. I create original, one-off, dreamlike, abstract ceramic sculpture and 2D artworks. In this video, I want to talk about how this health crisis has changed the way I work as an abstract artist. And so I, I got some kind of notes here that I'm gonna, just to help me kind of plan out the video. Bear with me if I have to keep looking down, but uh, I hope this uh, this video is, is insightful and and useful for you in, in in some way i think during this time it's it's really got me um thinking about okay as an artist how do i adapt to this current health crisis that everyone's being faced on a, on a global scale um one thing i have done uh, to adapt to this current situation is change uh, a spare room um, into a gallery and that is purely because you know at this during this time uh, I can't show my works publicly in a public space because a lot of uh, spaces uh, like galleries or event spaces have been uh, closed off. So welcome to the gallery of curiosity uh, just to showcase uh, my artworks and my wife's artworks. Uh, this is an example of my wife's artwork um, her name is Wenshi Harmon. Uh, you can find her artworks online, um, but she mostly works with ceramics, with clay. And then um, I've got some 2D artworks and some more clay work by my wife. And yeah, this one was a, a more a more recent one. That was a bit of a more kind of experimental piece. So I found that painting from a. A local charity shop and then decided to paint over it <laughs> and uh, this one is uh, a large painting that I'm currently working on so that's a kind of work in process and got my ceramic sculpture more ceramic sculptures uh, another painting yeah this one's more recent uh, that was a, another kind of experimental painting uh, ceramic piece uh, yeah this one is another experimental uh, painting that I did more recently uh, still got to finish that one and this is another one that I uh, I'm still working on need to, to finish and this one is a more recent one um, again, that's another painting that I picked up from a local charity shop. Decided to paint over that one. <laughs> and uh, just try new, yeah, because I'm always trying, I'm always looking to try new things and experiment. Uh, that one's a more recent one. And then this one's a more recent one as well. And it's nice, it's nice having that control where you can just, you know, uh, you can just curate your own show before this crisis happens, you know, as applying always applying for exhibitions and those kind of events and you just usually you just drop off your artwork and there'll be a curator and that person would then just you know decide on what work to display and then how to display it but I found just you know having the space is quite nice because you know I can display the works how I want to display it and and then I can then um, yeah, do this and take a video and show people, okay, what, what is it, what the work's like having it in a work, in, in a home space and uh, yeah, just to give people a better understanding. Yeah, so another way in which this situation has changed the way I work is, you know, again, just thinking about online presence. And so um, recently, obviously, I've been thinking more about um, about my YouTube channel and trying to kind of continue to build upon that. Yeah, really kind of pushing myself a bit more to be a bit more serious with it and to try and upload new content and uh, and also try and think about, okay, what kind of videos can I do that can provide value for people or give people an insight into my artistic practice. Yeah, and then another thing I've been doing is looking into um, creating how-to courses. You know, during this time, it's obviously got me thinking about, okay, how do I sustain my 
uh, my practice as an artist, um, how else can I make a living from it and looking into alternative um, methods to do that because I think, um, you know, because obviously during this time I guess there's more people who are buying, you know, just basic necessities or buying things that they only really need and um, this current situation has got me thinking about, okay, um, can I offer my skills to people as a way to um, help other people uh, learn skills um, that's relatable to ceramics, to art, but also it's another way for me to um, potentially help myself and um, and help me keep a roof over my head. <laughs> yeah, and another way in which this situation has changed the way I work is just by using this time to reanalyze the art market and consider, yeah, how, like, how can I, you know, in what ways can I market my artwork online uh, or where can I market my work online and just restructuring that. So I've been, you know, uploading more artworks to um, Saatchi Arts. Uh, obviously I have my website that I've been trying to kind of maintain and update. Uh, and then there's a new um, uh, online platform that I started uploading artworks to. Um, and then there's another online platform that I've just recently applied for, um, but still waiting for a response. So it's just, yeah, so during this time, just really looking at, okay, um, uh, what is working and how can I reach um, potential um, collectors and just um, and just looking at um, new possibilities really. Yeah, so another positive thing that's come from this situation is just having the support um, and love from my wife um, just through this uh, difficult time. It's nice having you know, um, a partner around um, uh, because you know you, we can both support each other and uh, and talk to one another. Yeah, because I also realised during this situation that it's also pretty, you know, I suppose it is for a lot of people quite isolating and and our friends as well. You know, our friends have been really kind and just. And if you can see that they've been, you know, giving us, um, you know, sending us food from Taiwan like these. Um, like these pineapple cakes and oh, these are these are the best uh, so if you ever get the chance to go to Taiwan because my wife's from Taiwan <laughs> it's like to do that. Yeah, that's the package. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, really nice. Yeah. These are these are really nice with um um with like coffee or some kind of soy milk as well. Or anyway, that's another that's a whole other story. But anyway, I just I want to say that I'm just really thankful for family and for friends. And um, but anyway, <laughs> food is always good. Yeah, and also my, my friends have been so kind just to, you know, send us masks in the post, like some of these, oh, oh that's the bag for the mask, but yeah, they've been just really friendly, so that's, that's, that's also really, really helpful and really thoughtful of them. Yeah, so like this one, it's the mask that you can put over your face um, from Taiwan, but they look pretty cool, actually, <laughs> with those kind of patterns, so yeah, you can just put it over your ears like that, put the mask on. I suppose you can even wear these goggles as well, but you know, I don't know. I guess if you was walking around, you know, the, the UK with this, <laughs> you'd probably get some funny looks <laughs> uh, with, with goggles on, but I think with masks, it's, you know, it's, it's all good. Um, <laughs> anyway, that's been my experience of how this health crisis has affected me as an artist and, um, 
yeah, you know, how has it changed the way I work? What have I learned from it? What has been the kind of positives from it? And, um, you know, I hope it can um, also maybe give you some ideas as well. You know, or help you um, just think about new things. But anyway, that's been my kind of experience and um, yeah, I hope you have found value in this video and, and thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.